So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put on a pair of gloves. Cypress Semiconductor in Bloomington gives work attire a new meaning. It's a class 10 clean room, so uh, particles that you can't see can destroy the dye on the wafer. Eric Schneider has been with Cypress for two decades. So this process to enter the fab is second nature. We're the biggest contaminants when we go into the fab, so we want to make sure that we're as particle free as possible when we're dealing with the wafers. After a quick air shot, Schneider enters the fab where manufacturing for microchips is done. The wafer is a silicon plate that we put different layers down and make uh, circuitry on there. And then that wafer will get tested here. It'll get sent out for uh, slicing, dicing, packaging. Depending on what type of dye we're making, we can have 50 dye on a wafer, you could have 10,000 dye, which then becomes the microchip. Those chips go into smartphones, computers, routers, the list goes on and on. Anything that has electronics in it, that has touch screens, or uses uh, electronic buttons. Um, we make the computer chips, the computers basically that control all of that stuff and it gets shipped to many different customers all over the world. We work with many companies, um, you know, we ship chips to a lot of big companies all over the world. There's hundreds, thousands of them. That's managing director Rick Williamson. He's been with Cypress for 12 years and in his opinion, this fab is in the perfect place. The main thing I like is the high-tech manufacturing in the Midwest. It's very interesting and you know, we get to compete against people all over the world in Asia and all over the United States and we're able to do it right here in the Midwest because it gives people an opportunity for high-paying jobs and learning. Um, the skills that you develop here are pretty portable so people get to build a lot of skills and learn about technology and how to do high-tech manufacturing. Williamson says the site employs about 500 people and those employees get a unique opportunity. The technology that we run here, you'd really have to go to either Asia or maybe Intel on the West Coast or Samsung down in Texas to have the same level of high tech manufacturing that we have here in Bloomington. We have almost a billion dollars worth of capital equipment in the building. While the technology is top notch, these are the, the masks that we shoot onto the die. Schneider says he also enjoys the environment, and he explained why. It's really the people, so um, I know it sounds kind of cliche, but uh, I've worked on all four shifts. I've been in manufacturing. Um, I started off, I had no idea what a semiconductor was when I started here. I worked my way up through the ranks, became a lead, became a supervisor, um, became production manager, and it's been very rewarding. And he's done it all in a place he loves to live.